Hello again everybody, welcome back to section 3 of my Still Got The Blues solo live version tutorial Still Got The Blues by Gary Moore and um, there are some sections in this in this live version here that are going to be very different from the original and this is definitely one of them as was the last section and yes um, we'll start this um, section with a bent note basically what happens, I'll just break it down quickly to summarise it for you there'll be this bent note, um, string bend and then some vibrato and then there'll be a kind of a flurry of pentatonic um, hammer-ons and pull-offs that um, start descending down to this bent note which we land on exactly in time and that's probably the difficult part it's getting all the notes in and then within a time frame landing on this bent note and then we start ascending again and then it still gets pretty quick again and then we land on this B note at the top again we have to do it, we have to land on that note in time for it to sound good and that's the thing and the timing in this section will be pretty difficult to explain because everything's done within like a box or a time frame it's, as I said you've got to somehow land on the note perfectly uh, in the time and then do that twice and yeah it's all basic pentatonic we'll go through the section now and I will basically play it from the last section. I'll fade in from the last section. Um, it's easy for me to play this section and to kind of start it off that way. And you'll hear it in context anyway. So we'll do that and then we'll break it down. And you'll understand what I mean about fitting it um, in the fast things um, with those key notes, you know, that, that you have to land on at the end of each phrase. So let's take it away. <laughs> So the first thing I would say, um, a suggestion before we start doing this, is try to warm up with your trills uh, as much as you can. I think that's the best way to warm up in general. That's what I find anyway. Um, if I'm playing a gig, you know, that's probably my favourite warm up, is just trills in each finger. Um, that will just do a good job and <laughs> you can really, I think you're laughing from there as long as you get all your fingers warmed up by doing that. Shouldn't be much of a problem. My favourite warm up, trills. Um, that for the left hand. Um, anyway, we'll start off this section. Firstly, we have um, this note, we bend a G to an A, and it's on the 8th fret on the B, on the B string. So, I put a bit of vibrato on it. And that's the start. But this next section is a descending kind of flurry of notes. And as I said, the timing, hard to talk about really. You'll have to try it out a few times. It's pretty quick. Not the quickest thing in the world, but it's pretty quick, you know. And then to land on the note at the end, the bend, you have to kind of play around with it and figure out where to get all these notes so they'll fit, you know. I've been playing it so often now, it kind of works most times for me. But, you know, it's a. I don't know, I kind of worked this out. This is basically my interpretation of Gary's many live versions, so. It's not exactly the way Gary does it, exact notes, but yeah, I try my best. Anyway, after that bent note, that we will do a um, first part goes like this, which is basically your most recognisable rock lick. Five eight five on the high E, hammer on pull off, and then eight on the uh, B. Okay, and we do that twice, and then we move that to the string below. 585 on the B and then 8 on the G twice. Okay. And then the next section sounds like this, which is 5 on the B, play the 8th on the uh, G, but don't accent the note too much, and then slide down to the 7th. So 5 on the B, 8 slide to 7 on the G. Pull off to the 5 on the G, and then play the 7 on the D. Okay. And as I said, don't accent the blues note too much, but it it's just a kind of a... It's just there, you know? And then the next part is... Which is just a trill tw uh, twice. 
um, which is 5, hammer on to 7 on the G, pull off to 5, hammer on to 7, pull off to 5. And then we have, which is 7 on the D, 5 on the G, and then 7, pull off to 5 on the D, and then 7 on the A. And then we'll have that trill again on the D this time. Uh, so 5, 7, 5, 7, 5. And then we go, which is five slide, uh, sorry, seven slide to five on the A, seven to five, and pull off to the third on the A. Okay, so slowly, I think it's like this. Okay. <laughs> One more time, maybe even slower. I kind of slide that straight away, I guess. So it's kind of a, you know, you kind of slide into that note as a ghost note on the bottom. And then and now we have this bend note, which is. And that is the note that lands on that beat, you know? So we bend that fifth fret on the A up a full tone. And then we unbend it. Unbend it. <laughs> and then we uh, play the fifth fret just to give it some vibrato, okay? So, yeah. Um, that's that first um, part that descends. <laughs>